What is going on everybody, Nazdarachi coming back at you again this morning with another quick video for Dragon Ball Legends. What we're covering today, many of you may already have seen because some of the hype is already starting to seep out. Overnight, when the daily reset happened, they snuck in a news that all you guys can check out right in the game. It's basically showing off the five characters that you see next to me. So, we are definitely getting the one-armed or armless Gohan, it looks like, future Gohan, who is missing his arm post the attack from Android 17 and 18, which, honestly, I'm quite excited for him. We're also getting Rage Trunks, or I hope it's going to be Rage Trunks with the Spirit Bomb Sword, potentially a transformation. Either way, it looks like Super Saiyan 2 Trunks from the Dragon Ball Super arc to go along with Goku Black. And of course, Mai, his support character. I'm assuming that she'll be either a support or a defensive type, but at first, seeing her, I wasn't too excited, but the more I look at that art right over there, you can just see her just menacingly holding up that 12-gauge pump shotgun, and the more I look at it, the more I really just want to shoot somebody in the face with her shotgun. Get down. Hopefully, she has an RPG as well, so it's, it'll be kind of like playing Solid Snake and Smash versus characters like Cloud and other ridiculous characters in that sense. It's just like, what are you doing here? You don't belong in this fight, but 12-gauge buckshot to the face, maybe the equalizer, you guys. It'll put K.O. Ken Goku in his place, maybe. You can put Super Saiyan Bardock into the dirt, it's just a, with a swift... Ch -ch Yeah, you know, I, I like that. So, at first I wasn't too excited for her, but but remember you guys, being in Ultra Space Time 8, this is the banner that's replacing the Super Saiyan Bardock and Chilled banner. That means that there should be at least, at the very minimum of two, guaranteed sparking tickets that we can earn. And this is all speculation, but I am still assuming that we may get a Legends collaborative banner for the English or worldwide release of the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. So we may still be seeing a summonable Super Saiyan God Blue Gogeta or a transforming unit or a free to play one with an event associated with it as well as the summon banner. I do anticipate that they will do something. It, just, it wouldn't make sense for them not to, to profit off of both characters twice for the dual release of the movie. It, it's just what makes sense, but again, there is no official confirmation of that. We do have confirmation of everything you see over here though, and as well, we are getting another EX 17 and 18. They will most likely be future tagged versions of themselves, because remember we do already have an EX 17 and 18 being a green 18 and a red 17, but these two, however, will probably be potential bench units for the future tag, seeing as they are probably the History of Trunks versions of themselves. Or not History of Trunks. Yeah, it is the History of Trunks. The movie with future Gohan. Right. I'm getting confused here because now Trunks is on the banner, so just spare me. It's early in the morning. But honestly, I think I'm most excited for the Rage Trunks. I do believe that they will be future tagged, and I mean that in terms of their Z ability. Hopefully they are both, or all three of them, our tags for the future tag team so that way Goku Black will now have a strong foundation and to put that in perspective we know that Broly is the single unit king of the meta right now with this future tag team having now two potentially powerful yellow units on it that could help equalize the meta a little bit because you know Broly while he is powerful he's not going to be able to stand up to either a mono yellow team with the now addition of this future Gohan or as well a future tag team with Goku Black and this Gohan. So 
that that will remain to be seen they're either going to be buffing that or hybrid sands is my guess i doubt they'll be son family and vegeta family buffers so we're looking at you know either color type buffers or future tag buffers or hybrid sands buffers and kind of no matter how you split that up except for the, the color options it'll be good for either respective meta but hopefully future tag and that's about all we have to say on the matter you guys right now i'm assuming we're going to be seeing some pretty cool ultimate arts and some unique animations seeing as how none of these three characters are in the game shared by any other character models we're familiar with so do stick around you guys if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up i will definitely be covering more about these units and maybe making a couple of summons as well as keeping you up to date about gogeta there were also rumors on reddit about a potential Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, but that as well has not been completely confirmed. So just stay tuned and I will be sure to keep you guys up to date. Once again, if you're new here, consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell. I'd love to see you again on future videos. And that's about all the information we have right now, you guys. These units will be good for their respective colors. They'll be great for hybrid Saiyans teams. They'll be great for future tag teams. Goku Black definitely needs some friends besides Cell and the other versions of Future Trunks that are heavily dated. So I'm excited, you guys. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for Gogeta. I hope that you guys are hyped up as well. And uh, again, we'll see you soon, y'all. Peace out. Have a good morning. Later.